Hey everybody, welcome to Song Shape Studios, where it's all about making your music work for you. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to pitch your songs to Spotify's editorial playlist. So let's get started. Let's pull up your Spotify for artist. And then right here, you should have an option of pitching your most recent single or album. So go ahead and click pitch from next release. So what's important about this is if you have an album with multiple songs on it, you can only pitch one song per album. That's why I always do singles so that every song I release has a chance to get pitched to Spotify's editorial playlist system. So I went ahead and selected this song. Go down in the bottom corner, hit next. Confirm where the artist is from. Editors sometimes look for music made by people from specific parts of the world. So right now I'm in Augusta, Georgia. So that's where I'm going to click this. It's good to be honest too. Don't put a city that you're not living in. They can tell from your social media where you're actually from. So this whole process, it's good to be honest and give precise information. So let's hit next. Choose up to three genres. This is also very important to be honest in. You don't want to pick the most popular genres. You want to pick genres that best describe your music because this whole system is algorithm based. So they're going to base what genres you choose to what other songs sound like you. And if those genres don't line up, then there's going to be a problem and you're going to get either mix, mismatched or they'll just not deal with you at all. So I'm going to be ambient, shoegaze, and post-rock. Those are the three genres that best describe the kind of music that I am releasing here. I'm releasing this song with um, a guy named Vin, and it's a collaboration that the two of us worked on together. So the next part, choose up to two music cultures. None of these really describe our song, so I'm going to click none of these. Again, it's best to be honest. Don't click something that your song doesn't relate to. Choose up to two moods. The song is very chill and it's meditative. I'm going to click those, but click the ones that best describe your song. Choose up to two song styles. I'm going to click ballad, and that's really the only one here that relates to my song. What instruments are in this song? It's got... It does have samples. So I'm going to click that. It's got like a bird sample in it. It's got a bunch of synthesizers. Um, it's got a piano. And it's got electric guitar. And I think that's it. Again, be very specific with the instruments in your song. If you don't know, ask your producer what instruments they used. And they can get back to you so you can be as precise as possible. So that's that section. Is this a cover? Mine is not a cover. Yours might be. Is this a remix? Nope, not on here. But again, yours might be. How was it recorded? It was recorded in a studio. Is it an instrumental? For my song, yes, it is. And that is good for that page. So add a description. They're wanting to know the process about how you created this song and any plans you have to promote it. So for me, I'm going to list how me and Vin created this song, what our goal was for it, and our promotion plans. So I'm going to write something like,
All right, I always like to try to use as many characters as I can in that description setting part. It would be good for you to do as well. They just want to know what your song is about, how you're going to promote it, because if you're promoting your song on their platform, it's helping Spotify. And Spotify loves when you help Spotify. It makes sense. You're helping them, they'll help you. And this is all the artist info. It's going to be different for everybody. This is mine. It's got links to my social media that's important to have. And it's got the top cities where I'm being listened to in. So that's it for that part. I'm going to click next. Right here, we're just going to review everything, make sure everything looks good. You can still update your pitch until release day, but changes made within a week of release won't be reflected on release radar. So every time you submit your song to Spotify's editorial playlist, you automatically get put on release radars for all of your followers on Spotify, which is awesome. So even if you don't make an editorial playlist, you'll definitely get on each individual follower's release radar playlist. So we got artist info, hometown, currently based, the genres, that's correct. Music cultures, none of them applied to me. Moods, chill and meditative, that's correct. Ballad, that's also correct. Instruments, we had samples, synths, pianos, and electric guitars. It's not a cover, not a remix. It was recorded in the studio, and it is an instrumental. And so language of lyrics doesn't apply to us. Yours will be there in whatever language your track is in. And then it's got the description. And then they're just reminding you what I said before. Followers get this song on the release radar playlist when you pitch at least a week before release. So that's always important to do a week ahead of time. Sometimes I've even done a month ahead of time. The more time you give it to sit in their song bank, the better chance someone at Spotify is going to see it and listen to it and place it. And then we're going to click pitch down here at the bottom. And thanks for your pitch. So you can't pitch another song until after this one goes live on Spotify. If y'all have any questions, leave them in the comments section below and hit subscribe and the bell for more notifications about my next video. Thanks.